if you want to apply to universities in the UK, the application process can seem pretty overwhelming at the beginning, especially if you are an international student and if you do not know what the application process is like. I have been there. Choosing to study in the UK is an exciting opportunity that can open so many doors to your future. There are a lot of different universities across the UK to choose from and if you are interested in global rankings, the UK has many that consistently rank in the top 200 worldwide. Today I'm going to run you through the steps in the application process for those interested to study in the UK, that is England, Wales, Scotland and uh, Northern Ireland. Let's get started. But first consider to subscribe, click the notification icon because in the next video I will take you through the scholarship application process for those who do not want to be financially impoverished during your study time. Hi guys, my name is Jurgo Roberts and I recently completed my masters in London here in the UK and I strongly believe I can guide you into uh, your successful application for university admissions in the UK. At the beginning, the whole application process seemed really complicated to me, but that was mainly because I was really unsure about what it's like. And when applying, I realized that uh, if you have an overview of everything you needed to do, it's really not that complicated. So let's get started with the first step. For international students, there are two ways to apply. You can choose to apply directly through the university or you can use UCAS. Most undergrad applications are made by UCAS and most postgraduate applications are made directly to the universities. For undergraduate students, you can apply up to five courses through UCAS. If you are applying as a postgraduate student, you can apply to as many as you like. So let's talk about the UCAS. What you first need to do is to create an account on UCAS. What is UCAS, you may ask? UCAS, U-C-A-S, is the central application uh, system in the UK. It is a website where you can create an account. Find the link in the video description. Uh, I'm going to put it down there. You enter all your details there and then the UCAS form is forwarded to all universities you want to apply to. It's a literally straightforward process that you may find quite convenient. So let's look at what kind of information you have to enter there. You have to enter your personal details, that means information about you. You also need to enter your grades. This means you need to enter the course you studied before and the grade you got. And of course you need to enter the courses you are applying for. You enter up to five universities into the UCAS. The next thing you need to do is provide a personal statement. The personal statement is the place where you talk about your skills, your hobbies, uh, your interests and why you have applied for the course that you have chosen. And for those who are not sure of how to write a personal statement, I will make a video on that. So remember to like this video, subscribe and hit the notification so you do not miss out. Next thing you need to do is provide a reference. Reference is a recommendation from someone who knows you academically or professionally, not a family member or a friend. And you need to make sure that uh, your reference is completed before you submit your application. This means that uh, your former supervisor or academic tutor, teacher or an employer or somebody else who is familiar with your uh, work writes a reference for you and provides this reference to UCAS. If you are applying directly to the university, referees are needed as well. So how does this work? What you need to do is to go on UCAS website and enter the contact details of your referee and then your referee will receive an email from UCAS with a link where he or she can submit your reference for you. As simple as that. As soon as your referee has submitted the reference, you will be notified by UCAS via email. By this point, your application form on UCAS should be complete and now you're ready to submit it. But before submitting, you have to pay the UCAS application fee uh, for them to forward uh, it to your chosen universities. Pay this fee by credit card and submit your application. And there is one last important point regarding your UCAS application I want to talk about and that is deadline. Make sure you pay attention to the deadlines uh, for submitting your uh, UCAS application because most universities have deadlines. M most universities have 15th January as their deadline. However, others like Oxford and Cambridge require you to submit your UCAS application uh, by 15th of October. 
October and that is almost one year earlier than your uh, start date. For masters, most universities have their deadline up to June or July before classes begin in September. It is a pity if you miss uh, the application submission uh, deadline. Let's go on with the next big step in the application process. You may have to take a test to complete your application. Uh, for example, some courses like law require you to take a test. Me, I did not have to do a test. Other universities don't require you to do a test. You need to check with the university and uh, course of your choice whether uh, they require a test. Because of COVID, you may have to do an online test. These tests are timed, so be punctual. So step number three, interviews. Some universities do interviews. For example, Oxford and Cambridge. If you apply to such a university after you have submitted your application, you receive an email whether or not you are invited uh, for an interview. Whether you have to travel there or not depends mainly on where you live. It may be that uh, you need to travel to the UK for the interview or you could do it online, the most appropriate option in the era of COVID, of course. If you consider applying to a university that conducts interviews, make sure you find out from their website on how this is done. You can request uh, to do it online if possible, but rest assured that uh, most universities make this easy for you. Step number four, uh, the application decision. If you applied for masters directly to the university, they will email you directly on your application's outcome. You will eventually get the decision of your application from the university of your choice through UCAS, if you had applied through UCAS. You will receive the decision through UCAS track. What is UCAS track, you may ask? UCAS track is, is the platform where you can track your applications after submitting it through UCAS website. Simple. This is where you will see every university you had applied to and of course also the course says you applied for and you will see which universities have already decided on your application, whether you got offered a place or not. UCAS will notify you by email and that means you have to log onto UCAS track to see which university has made a decision or basically the outcome of your application to that particular uh, university. You may sometimes get a conditional offer of admission. A conditional offer of admission means that uh, your offer is dependent on you meeting the highlighted conditions. Conditions that you must meet before you get an unconditional offer may include English language test results, also known as the IELTS, IELTS, uh, verification of your academic papers, your financial status on whether you can afford the school fees and life in the UK. You may also get a rejection as an outcome of your application from one or all of your universities you applied to. A rejection means that uh, the university has not offered you a place of study. And of course, a rejection is not a great thing. And of course, in the beginning, you may feel sad about it. However, remember that you have the possibility to fill up to five choices on your UCAS application. And I encourage you to do that because this means that uh, if you are rejected from one of your university choices, you still have four additional choices uh, left where you may get a place of admission. So take the chance and use the UCAS even if you are applying for a master's degree where most students choose to apply directly to the university of their choice. And if you have received an offer or a conditional offer from any university, this means that uh, you need to take immediate action. You may not need to take action immediately. However, there is a deadline until which you have to decide whether you either accept the place you are offered or reject it. If you have received several offers, this is the time to think through carefully on which university and course you want to accept or reject. You should also make this decision based on the conditions of the admission on whether you're able to meet them on time or not. Step five, now the universities you accepted their offer of admission will then contact you via email and you will get any further information that is required from the universities. For example, they will email you information about the course or which documents you need have to submit or whether you have additional conditions to meet. And that's it. Leave your comments and let me know whether you require additional information on applying for admissions uh, to study in the United Kingdom. That's it really. Bye-bye and thanks for listening.